They'll run here with John Kelly. And this defense feeling the encouragement. They stop him at the line of scrimmage on the first play of the afternoon. Another scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker. What that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. Throwing on second down, Roethlisberger. He's going to walk and got his man complete. A big pickup of 38. All right, Charles, let me put you in the head of one of those defenders. It often does because your thought process all during the week is how you're going to get after that offense and make your plays. And when they make one against you, it makes you a little bit hesitant. Time to regroup. That one good for 14 yards and a Steeler first. Brandon, after last week, we went over 200 yards. Looks like the hot tub, cold tub, whatever he did, it worked pretty well. Much chatter about that performance, rightfully so. AFC Offensive Player of the Week. Now a play fake here on first down. And yes, complete to the tight end, McDonald. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. A gain of six there on first. So much goes into a successful play, doesn't it? How about that play action there? Freezing the defense just enough to bring the tight end free downfield for the completion. Looking to throw again on second down. Roethlisberger. The ball popped in the air and intercepted. Picked off by Preston Brown, the linebacker. And he is going to get this one back to the 20-yard line. J.J. Arcega, Whiteside, the intended receiver. Certainly not how they envisioned ending their opening drive here in the first quarter. Too many ones in this play. First quarter, first drive, first interception thrown. And that last one, that hurts. Open man is Ross, complete. Andy Dalton looked good on that pass, but I'll tell you what, all time in his career against Pittsburgh, it has been a struggle. Three and 12 as a starter against these Steelers. Just more evidence of their dominance over the years in the AFC North. Now this one to his tight end out on the right side. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. 15 yards on the play, first down. A lot of tight ends just use their size and their strength, try to occupy some space and kind of body people away and catch the football. But not this guy. He's a refined route runner. Makes me wonder if he took some dance classes in his background with his footwork. And he'll be brought down. Oh, that's a face mask. Certainly looks like it indeed. Here come the flags. Defense. Well, we looked at each other right away. We knew that flag was coming out. And I always enjoy the conversation post because officials always tell you, I don't want to throw the flag, but you caused the play. You did it. I had to. Off the play fake to Mixon. This is Dalton. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. They said there was a lot of discussion in their defensive team meeting room after last week's performance. They had seven sacks. Something in the water. There's one in the first quarter. A lot of discussion, a lot of excitement because now everyone wants to get involved with this. Who's going to continue that process? Who's going to get to the quarterback this week? But they have to be careful. When you have that much pressure, they want to use it against you. Draws, screens, those types of plays. We'll see if they do that. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. So Dalton now. And he's going to be taken down. Pressure gets there back at the 39-yard line. T.J. Watt, he's the culprit, and that is now his 13th sack of the season as his great year continues. He punted five times in the win last week as this one's away. Out comes the Steeler offense now, ready to see what they can do here. And, you know, certainly a lot of football left to be played. We're not into December yet, but right now where we stand, they're first place in their division, looking good, looking to be a threat come January. And let's think about what every team has in their goals, all right? Number one goal is what? Make the playoffs. Number two goal is win your division. Number three goal is... And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. 
Carlos Dunlap able to record his fifth sack of the season. And a play like that with how far he had to go to make that sack shows how athletic defensive ends have become in the NFL. And not just athletic, this is coached in a big way. Run to the football at all times. How about him never giving up on it and pursuing all the way across the field? Another try after the first down sack. Roethlisberger forced out to his left and avoids the contact by sliding. It'll be a pickup of 15 as that'll lead to third. On third and short, going with their tight end. And he's going to have the first down yardage as he's down at about the 30-yard line. And they have the first down with that gain of four yards. And with the play clock winding down, we're going to get a timeout. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. So first and 10 now from the 30. Out of the gun, it's Roethlisberger. Open man completes it to Smith-Schuster. And he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. Five yards on the catch there. Brings up second down. Defensive starters, here they are for Cincinnati. And they're going to be tough to throw on, no doubt. Currently ranked third in the NFL against the pass. Yeah, defending the pass hasn't been an issue for them. It's been stopping the run. And if they don't stop the run, they can't get back to their strength, which is guarding against the air attack. To throw again on second down. Roethlisberger. And this is going to wind up incomplete. The coverage there too strong on the deep ball, and now they face a third down. Here we go, here we go. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. Here's Roethlisberger. Catch made, it's Moreau. And he's going to have a first down as he's brought down at the 44-yard line. His first catch, good for nine and a first down. When an offense reads blitz, doesn't matter where it's coming from, tight ends know that they become a big part of the passing game because they should be an easy outlet when all those extra bodies are trying to get to the quarterback. A hot route, so to speak. 57 for Mike. 57 for Mike. On first down, it's Roethlisberger eluding the pressure right. And the coverage terrific there as that's knocked down and incomplete. Coverage. They'll run with the NC State man. It's Jalen Samuels. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. Offense. That one whistled against a big right tackle. you think being able to fire out and block, it'd be a lot easier to not commit a holding penalty, but it's tough to keep those guys right in front, isn't it? They'll come up now on a second and long after the hold. Again, it's Roethlisberger. And his throw here is incomplete. Today's NFL, these big guys are featured receivers. They move them all over the place to try and find good matchups. And they had one, they were just unable to complete the pass. Ninth play of the drive now on third and a country mile. Ben to throw again. Try to lay one up deep. And this is, oh my goodness, he pulled it in one-handed. And he's in. Touchdown, Steelers. Juju Smith-Schuster, his fifth touchdown now on the year. As his guys are able to strike first here in this opening quarter. And correct me if I'm wrong, that was just a simple fly route, wasn't it? No, there's nothing to correct at all. You've got it down pat. And I just remember as a player, when I'd be in practice sessions, 
and I'd hear nine from the receivers. That meant fly route, go. Uh-oh, look out. <laughs> that was the nine, and he just kept going all the way into the end zone for the touchdown. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Now the Cincinnati offense ready to see what they can do here. And to be frank, they're just in a tough spot. It's only November already eliminated from playoff contention. I know their fan base doesn't want to hear that, but that's the case. What are they fighting for now going forward? You know exactly what they're fighting for is that word that some people don't want to hear, <laughs> but it's pride. Draft. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to go draft, but pride's better, right? Well, you know something? <laughs> You're right, because that's part of it, but that's two different mindsets. That's front office mindset, yep. draft position, where are we going to be and what do we need to get? And then the players and the coaching staff right now, pride. Can they win some games and feel better about themselves despite the fact they have no shot at the playoffs? After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. Ready for the second quarter from Cincinnati. It's the Bengals with the football here. They've got a third down and five to start things out. From the gun, Dalton looks to throw. He gets this in the hands of Mixon. And they'll get him down about three yards short of the first. It'll be a pickup of just two, and it'll be fourth down. What hallmark of good defenses is understanding the game, understanding positioning, and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. Got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield. Juju Smith-Schuster and the rest of this offense heading back out there, making his presence felt early in this one. First half, already over the century mark. How about the yards per completion, too? That's a pretty darn good number there. Number of catches, but he's shredding defense. He's getting big yardage with each and every one of them. They go over the middle, and it's complete to start the drive. And he'll be upended after a gain of five, up to the 25-yard line. Here's a second and five now from the 25. Here's Roethlisberger to throw. And he'll be taken down by the Bengal pressure. Great job defensively. I think he was trying to go through his progressions, find someone to get rid of the football before he knew it. He was on his back. So that just brings us right back to what you said in the beginning. A great job defensively. Nowhere to go with the football. That led to the sack. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. How about this offense already feeling good about themselves with a touchdown already in their first drive? They've certainly come out firing, even though that one was incomplete. With the 7-0 lead, more apt to take a shot like that downfield? Hey, you're one to the good. Go ahead and try and pressure advantage. Now, after the punt on that play, we've got a man down on the field. Well, he gets attended to. We'll step aside. The Cincy offense about ready to go here on their next drive. They've had it twice. They've punted twice. Not the start they were hoping for. Not at all. And let's face it, every facility we visit, everyone talks about converting on third down, how big that is. In this situation, they've had to punt it away twice. So they're furiously going over things on the sidelines. What do we need to do to pick up a first down and change our momentum? A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Dalton with five here. They got to feel pretty good about that one. On second down, it's Kelly. And he's able to plow forward up to about the 29, just shy of the 30. Gino Atkins, the pro bowler, in there on the stop. On third and one, it's Roethlisberger. And Wilson has it. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. So much for the run on third and one. Instead, it's a big chunk in the pass game. First down. I can hear the film session right now. I can hear the coach saying to his team, guys, how does a guy that big get that open? Yeah, that's what I was wondering. Imagine him as a kid just trying to play hide and seek. No chance. No chance. He goes to hide behind the skinny tree. You see the front, the back, the top. Good luck. Yeah, you see him. You don't see the tree. Throwing now. Roethlisberger on first down. 
Flush to his right. And he'll toss this one incomplete. Seeing no options, he throws it away. Out of the gun, it's Roethlisberger. A bullet throw, but incomplete. Had to pass there, third and long on your own side of the field. Just couldn't come up with anything. That's why teams always talk about having to win the early downs, meaning you've got to gain yardage and set yourself up for third and short because when it's third and long, the odds go down significantly trying to pick up the first down, even throwing the football. Call that one an even 60 yards, 6-0. And the Bengals will take over here first and 10. Cincinnati now ready to take the field. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. But you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times the punter goes to the sideline and puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now from all the work he's getting. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Dalton now to pass. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Cam Hayward, always a force, got back there for the sack. So one quick, easy analysis about why they struggled so far. They keep putting themselves in third and long situations. They just took another sack right there. And the offensive film session tomorrow may be a little longer than... Well, the pressure too great, and he goes down once more. Stop. Marcus Davenport, he continues to wreak havoc in the offensive backfield. Sack number 16 on the year. This offensive line flat out cannot handle this pass rush. We've seen it demonstrated time and time again to the tune of seven sacks in this game thus far. It'll be a 39-yard punt, no return. And the Steelers will go on offense here, first and 10. Here comes Ben Roethlisberger and the Steeler offense back onto the field. First half, he's continued that here in the third quarter. But my question, when you're a head coach, what do you look at stat line-wise for your coach? Do you go right to turnovers? You really do. As much as coaches don't want to talk about that, that's where it starts. When I played in college, our first rule for every game, the team making the fewest mistakes will win. And that's kind of how they judge you. Do you take care of the ball? not turn it over, keep it in the proper hands, and give your team a chance to win. That's what he's done here in this one so far. Flushed out right. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. We've seen good cover skills on display throughout this game, really from both teams. And there's another nice example there of them making it difficult to complete a pass. Again on second and ten, it's Roethlisberger. And he's going to be taken down here. A sack back at the 32. Carlos Dunlap in there to get him, and that is sack number six now for him on the year. That's his second sack of the game in the best defensive ends. They do their homework as much as offensive guys do. They know how to beat the offensive linemen across from them, what moves they need to do to set them up. This guy's been pretty good at it all game long. So the sack and now a third and long situation for the Steelers and Ben Roethlisberger. From the gun, it's Roethlisberger. Got his man, it's our Sega Whiteside. They're able to convert on third down and that sets up a first and goal. You know, when I see passes like that, I'm reminded of something you and I talked about yesterday. Big Ben was a wide receiver the first three years of high school, sitting behind the coach's son, and then he finally got that opportunity. I think he's made the most of it. It's always the coach's son, isn't it? But you know where it helps him? When he looks downfield, he knows what the receivers are going to do. He actually has wide receiver's eyes when he's throwing the ball. Now a throw to the end zone on first down. Incomplete. Nothing on first down, so the ball remains at the eight-yard line. Second and goal. Now Kelly. And he'll be stopped up after only a couple of yards as he gets it down to the five. Defensively, I think they can smell a stop. Ball right around the five here brings up third. And I think what they've done is they put doubt in the minds of the off. What do we do? Because now you don't have a go-to play. Either side they pick, throwing it, running it, it won't be easy. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. 
So instead of giving them another third down, they'll decline it, brings up four. Now that's smart football right there. You don't even have to really spend a lot of time considering it. Just know that you're probably going to get the ball back. Good job declining that penalty. So on fourth down, the Steelers call on the number of Chris Boswell for the field goal try. From the left hash, you'll have to cut this at a tight angle. And Boswell's kick is good. And they will move up by 10 now, 17-7. to Boswell signed to a four-year deal prior to last season, but he struggled a little bit. Yeah, do you think that they saw 13 of 20 when they signed him to a four-year deal? Not at all. Needs a big bounce back in 2019 if he wants to see the end of that contract. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Now the Cincinnati offense ready to see what they can do here. These guys had to punt last time. It has not been a very fruitful game offensively thus far. And the Steeler pressure too much here. He's going to go down. Marcus Davenport in there to bring him down. And that is sack number 17 for him now on the year. Protection certainly going to need to be a bit better here on second and 16. Now Dalton, open man, Erickson, that's complete. They get 11 back on that one, it leads to third down. They should have put the coverage guys in a stress on that one. They thought they were going deep, ends up curling inside for a nice chunk of yardage. Third down from the gun, Dalton, and able to find Green. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. It's a Bengal first down, a pickup of 11. Green last year had the lowest numbers of his career output-wise, 694 yards, six touchdowns. But, of course, there was a reason for that. He was battling a toe injury the second half of the season. And, boy, did the Bengals miss his presence. Blitz coming, and down he goes. Marcus Davenport in there to get him, and that is now sack number 18 on the season for it. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. Dalton on the draw to mix him. Sean Davis that time on the tackle. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big time play? to throw on third down. Dalton, and he fends him off. Got a man on the right sideline. It's Erickson. A pickup of 24 on the third down conversion. Now they've been struggling in the passing game. Do you like the aggressiveness there? I mean, it worked on that play, but do you like it? I do because a lot of the time you're struggling because your passing lanes are clogged. That usually happens when you're throwing the ball underneath. People start to press up on you. Push them deep, find some space, and open things up again. Being aggressive there, I think, will pay off for them. Back now in Cincinnati. It's the Bengals. They've got the football, but they trail here as we get rolling in quarter number four. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Throw from Dalton. Take it in by Eifert. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it within an eyelash. Dropped at the one. That one covers 29 yards, first down. But when you hit him on the move like that, he's able to get into open field with a full head of steam. Oh, boy, it's going to be tough to get him down. Yeah, there was a big window. They're lucky they did get him down. They come out here in the eye. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Another chance for Dalton. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Marcus Davenport in there for the sack, and he's closing in on the all-time record. That's number 19 on the year. Well, surprise, surprise. First and goal at the one. No quarterback sneak, no running play. They decide to throw for it, but the pressure got to him quickly and put the quarterback down. So they get pushed back to the 11, and here's second and goal. To throw here, Dalton. And his throw is going to be incomplete. His big tight end, Tyler Eifert, the intended receiver. But now it's third and goal. That pass just a little bit off. It looked like maybe he tried to force it in there. Game speed, 
always different no matter what you do in practice. You can't simulate it, right? So your decision-making, everything has to be a little bit quicker. Sometimes it can throw you off until you adjust. He gets this in the hands of Mixon. And here he'll get it down to the seven. A four-yard pickup, not enough. Fourth down. Did they maybe play that too safely on third down? I know you don't want to just throw a ball blindly downfield, but that didn't help them a whole lot. I think they probably said if it's open, take the shot. If not, get something safe because we do have fourth down to try and pick it up. All right, so they needed two scores to get back in the game. The field goal there, maybe not exactly what they wanted, but the necessary first step. There's still time remaining, and there's enough time to get it done. They've got to get at the least a three and out here to get the ball back. Preferably a takeaway. We play to win. Let's go.